Welcome to a word on the word for the Feast of St. Bartholomew, August 24th, 2020. 24th, the Feast of St. Bartholomew. And I'm wearing um, plaid black and gray shorts underneath a plaid blue, orange, and green shirt. But you can't see that. Why am I telling you? Because Jesus, who has never lied to you or me, says that everything that is hidden will be revealed. Now, this is not the most important thing that is hidden that will be revealed by any, any, any stretch of anybody's imagination. But still, I thought you should know. So this is the gospel from the 22nd chapter of Luke that is given for the feast of St. Bartholomew, the Apostle. Take a listen. Let's think about it together. A dispute also arose among the disciples as to which of them was to be regarded as the greatest. But Jesus said to them, The kings of the Gentiles lord it over them, and those in authority over them are called benefactors. But not so with you. Rather, the greatest among you must become like the youngest, and the leader like the one who serves. For who is greater? The one who is at the table or the one who serves? Is it not the one at the table? But I am among you as one who serves. You are those who have stood by me in my trials, and I confer on you, just as my Father has conferred on me, a kingdom, so that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and you will sit on thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. The Gospel of the Lord. There's a lot there, like always. I, I'm just going to focus on the very first sentence Luke wrote. A dispute also arose among the disciples as to which of them was to be regarded as the greatest. Dispute also indicates that a lot of disputes arose among them. And maybe this one is the one that's kind of centered, that explains, is the connector among many of the other possible disputes among those first disciples, and among and between us as well. Which of them was to be regarded as the greatest? There are some people who will say it out loud, <clears throat> a lot of people who won't, but in us, in our society, is the question quite often, uh, who's going to win, who's going to lose? Who's going to walk away with the prize? Who's going to walk away with nothing? Now, <clears throat> this was apparently true. There's something human about it. 2,000 years ago, those closest to Jesus, who walked with him every day, who heard him, they had the same sense. So there's something in our lives, in this world, that, that moves us to see things, to understand things in that way. You know, it's win-lose. It's one or the other. It's binary, as they say. There's only two possibilities. Take your pick. And given that most people are going to pick to try to be the winner. But what Jesus says in the rest of this bit for St. Bartholomew's Day from Luke 22, as so often the case just turns that over. And we should take it seriously if we never have before, maybe especially uh, in, a, in a, a year of an election here in the United States. He says it, it, it's, it's not like that with you. Rather, the greatest has to be like the youngest. The leader has to be the one who serves. Then he poses interesting questions. Who's, who's the greater, the one at the table or the one who serves? Well, I don't know about you, but I've been sat at restaurant tables where I realized sometime during the meal that the person I was with really hadn't grown into the truth of themselves yet. God willing, they would. Whereas the person serving gave you a sense of, of completeness, of comfort with self, of comfort with their place that day, of comfort with who they are. So I think there's kind of a riddle of what he's saying. He says, you know, the, 
you say the person at table is the greater, but I say I'm among you as the one who serves. So what's the kingdom Jesus is going to give us as the Father gave him a kingdom? I think the kingdom is to really come to be yourself and not to need to strive to be greater than anyone else, than anyone else in your family, than anyone else in your business, than anyone else in your world. That's a radical ask, a radical teaching Jesus is putting before us. It's been dismissed in the history of the world more than it has been taken seriously. But what about today? What about you and me? Who among us is the greatest? Do you, do you want to be at the table today? Or do you want to be one of those who serves? See you soon. Take today, pray it as you live it.